One of the surprises Land Rover unveiled at the Discovery launch was the new Storm diesel engine. It's not related to any BMW unit. The Storm was in the early stages of development when the German firm took over. Originally planned as part of a modular group of four, five and six cylinder units, the Discovery gets the 2.5 litre straight five, producing 136 bhp, but more importantly, a maximum torque of 232 pound-foot. And a large proportion of that torque comes very low down in the rev range. In order to achieve the specific requirements of Land Rover's heavy off-roader and still meet future emissions requirements, the engineers needed to turn to high-pressure direct injection. The engineers chose to adopt Electronic Unit Injectors, or EUI. This system had a proven track record in large diesels fitted to trucks, reducing emissions whilst increasing economy. One of the keys to good diesel emissions is high-pressure fuel injection. EUI uses an individual camshaft-driven plunger pump for each cylinder's injector. This allows up to 22,000 PSI to be generated, compared to about half that for a standard direct high-pressure injection system. And because the pressure is only contained for a short period within the injector, there's plenty of potential to increase the pressure further. Common rail systems, which are becoming the vogue in diesel design, are limited in the pressure they can contend with because of the connections and distribution pipes needed for them to operate. Land Rover proudly claim that the new unit exceeds even future emissions requirements without needing a catalyst. They also say that there's room for even greater results in future as the TD5 is developed further.